Yeah, we still have lots of uh, first responders here on scene as they're still blocking off a lot of that area. And I'm actually joined with Dave Folio with the Scottsdale Fire Department to learn a little bit more about this fire. Yeah. Can you walk through sort of when y'all got the call and where are things at right now? Yeah, so at about 7.20 this afternoon, got a call for uh, smoke coming from a roof area on a strip mall. So when our first units arrived, they made entry through the door of uh, what they quickly found out to be a dry cleaner. So there's concerns with, uh, with that when we enter those. Uh, it wasn't labeled, so... Um, pawn shop next door and then a, a restaurant in the strip mall so uh, went inside quickly got a quick knockdown of the fire and uh, backed out uh, our, our biggest concern was haz hazardous materials being inside the, the structure uh, got an all clear of that structure and then so we've since identified uh, barrels that were melted through in the back of the structure that were peroxide and bleach uh, so we're determining uh, some other barrels that are in there trying to get a test on those. So uh, we've since backed out. Uh, we've got the fire knocked down and we made, we've got an all clear in all the structures and we've got no reported injuries in this. So that's that's good. So we heard reports of potential explosions. Any idea of what that may have been? Yeah, uh, when crews entered uh, uh, possible aerosol cans, you've seen some cans that are in the backup area of the of the structure that have blown apart. So uh, aerosol cans back in there that, that were popping on them when they went through the door and I uh, forwarded some of that video that you can hear when they're entering those so. and so no reported injuries your crews are still on scene how much longer will this section of the road be blocked yeah off? so once we go hazmat we just slow everything down we want we, before we send our investigators in there and or any more of our crews we want to identify some of the stuff we took pictures of uh, make sure some of those containers aren't leaking and then uh, make sure we don't have any other possibilities of uh, other chemicals mixing and we have some sort of reaction where it explodes. So really important, we just slow it down right now, let our hazmat crews get in there. We've got Tempe hazmat crews, uh, Phoenix and Scottsdale hazmat crews working in there. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll identify all the chemicals, the exposures, and whether we can contain them or clean them up, and then we'll, uh, we'll go inside and do the investigation. Thank you so much, Dave. As you can see, the crews are still going to be out here for just a little bit while longer, and we'll bring you the latest information as soon as we learn it. Live in Scottsdale, I'm Stephen Sarabia for Arizona's Family. Stephen, thank you.